Today we are going to round to estimate products. For my example, my instructions say estimate round to the greatest place value. Circle whether the estimate is greater than or less than the actual product. So first of all I need to estimate to the greatest place value, which is my hundreds place. So I'm going to decide if this is closer to 600 or 700. I do that by looking at the next digit to its right. If it's a 5 or higher, then we round up to 700, which it is. So I'm going to get 700 times 5. We can now use what we learned in our last lesson. I can multiply the 7 times 5, which is 35. And then I have two zeros. But I'm not done. The second half of my instructions say circle whether the estimate is greater than or less than the actual product. So my estimate is 3,500. And what I started with was 657. And I rounded that up to 700. So my estimate was actually if there were 700, but in real life there weren't quite that many. There were only 657. So that means my estimate's going to be a little bit greater than the actual product. So I'm going to write greater than because my estimate is greater than the actual product. Second example, same instructions. So I'm going to estimate to the greatest place value, which this time is the thousands place. I look at the digit to its right, and I'm going to keep this a 2,000. You can use the zero trick. 2 times 9 equals 18, plus 3 zeros. So I get 18,000. Now I need to decide if my estimate is greater than or less than the actual product, well, the actual number is 2,138, and I rounded that down to 2,000, which means my estimate's going to be a little bit less than the actual product. Okay, time for you to do your first practice problem. Same thing, estimate this, round it to the greatest place value. Circle whether the estimate is greater than or less than the actual product. Go ahead and pause, and then unpause to check your work. Okay, should have made this 500 times 3, which equals 1,500, and this would be greater than. And I circled it. Second practice problem. 3,487 times 5. Estimate it to the greatest place value. And then decide if it's greater than or less than the actual product. Okay, and here's your answer. That will round to 3,000 times 5, which equals 15,000. We round it down, so this is less than the actual product. Okay, here are your three problems today that you'll show me tomorrow in class. Number 1, 391 times 6. Number 2, 4,572 times 7. And the last problem is 2,438 times 9. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful night.